And let's say we want to graph the function cosine of x i sine of x j t k. So first, let's look at what we look like in the x y plane. So we have cosine of x i plus sine of x j. So we hopefully we recognize that as the unit circle. It's so a circle of radius one, centered at the origin. So as we're traveling along, we're traveling along this circle, come above, and what this plus tk tells us is the height. So in three dimensions, we're traveling around our circle, and our height is increasing, we're spiraling up. There's our point traveling around, and vector value functions do have direction. So this function is traveling upwards, spinning around and around. And we can, so that's what it looks like from the side, from above. From above, you can see that it's drawing a circle. So that's how we graph a vector value function.